Yeah, everyone, thank you very much for coming back to my channel. I do not take this for granted. I really do appreciate everyone that has liked and subscribed to this channel. You are the real MVP. And to those who have not, please take a few seconds of your time. Just like, subscribe, and together we're going to make magic happen. So let's go straight up to the business of today. Toby won a race to qualify for the third consecutive World Athletics Championship. And that is a big feather to our hat. We all know Toby has been making Nigeria proud back to back. And once again, she has qualified. She's well on track to defend a title that she won last year. She did not only win, she set a new championship record that everyone has been working towards breaking. But trust me, no one is going to near that record. Not anytime soon. So Toby's the only one that's going to break her record. Yeah, Toby's back. She won at it yesterday. Today she won a semi-finals. She was um, in. She was placed in the second race. Yeah, a two, and she won. It was. She had a slow start. Yeah, but I just didn't worry because normally professional athletes know how to build the momentum into their race. You know, and somehow she did what she knows how to do best. She was able to edge out the Jamaican. You know, at the nick of time, and Toby finished with a twelve point five six, winning that particular race. And Eight of course, women, I always say, never say, Ni never, say never Niger spirit is always a play. If you know your onion, you're good at what you this do. Really, and you now have really that Niger dead, 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 dead. Oh, it, um, it just, you know, chases you up the there and it sets you apart from others. Really and that was what we saw today. A couple of people have said they were really scared because Toby had a slow start. I'm like, see, what counts most importantly is that you can build, you know, that momentum into the final line. And that's the finish line. That's very, very key for every athlete that is, you know, uh, what if you're an athlete that knows your, your onion, that's very key. It's not about the starting. Yeah, the start is very fantastic. You could have a, you know, very fast start. But most importantly is how did you finish? We all, like for those that have been following the World Athletics Championship, we all saw those that have won, those that have de defended their titles, you know, those that have had a surprise win, you know, not necessarily starting that so fast, but they were able to build into the race. They were able to gather the momentum. They were able to sustain that momentum, you know, that they built during the course of the ra race to finish fantastically well. And that was what happened in Toby's case. She started a bit slow, but she was able to catch up with every single person. And she came to say, you know what? I have this figured out. Do not stress. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional athlete. Super happy that Toby has that race today and she's well on course to defend her title tomorrow. Um, our main contenders, uh, Kendra Ari saying some Nigerians are already worried. Oh, Kendra Ari said, oh, she did this. I'm like, oh, you know what? She ran a 12.24, you know, in the eight. And today she ran 12.33. I expected like an uh, a typical, you know, athlete to understand that you build your momentum, you build, you know, to the finals, basically, not running all your race or putting in all the energy at the starting time, then your time starts dipping when you proceed into the um, other stages of your event. And that's what I have seen. That is what I predicted. I said we might have seen the best of Kendra Harrison even when we had the eight because today she didn't even, she couldn't even match what she did yesterday. So I'm not really bothered about Kendra Harrison. And if she doesn't have a medal finish tomorrow, please do not be surprised. I just analyzed it for you now. My, to be honest with you, I'm more concerned about people like Jasmine Kamba people like Nia Ali, you know, and others that have been building strategically to the final race tomorrow. I know Toby too has been very conscious of that. She's been building strategically into the race tomorrow. And I promise you, I do not see Toby coming second tomorrow. I do not see Toby coming third. Toby is defending her title successfully tomorrow. And it will be the icing on the cake for Stargirl. For those that understand what I'm saying, it would be a big one, a massive one. 
Toby is a fighter. Toby knows what she's doing. She's professional. She knows how to, you know, cross her T's and dot her I's. She would go back, you know, she would watch her race. She would sit down with her management team and they'll look at what she needs to, you know, work out, what she needs to refine, what she needs to, you know, just tidy up before tomorrow's race. Toby has what it takes. Mentally, she's good. You know, psychologically, she's on point. She just needs to work on just a few things and she's well on course to defend her title. I do not have any doubt at all that by the time we're watching our final race tomorrow, we will just be shouting, you know, we'll just be excited. We'll just be all over the moon. And like she said in one of our interviews I saw, I think I'll find time to like upload that one, where she said to our genuine fans, and that goes a long way, our genuine fans, those that, those that have genuinely stood by Toby, those that have genuinely followed her, have supported her all the way. Toby is extremely grateful. She's very thankful. And she, she's very, very conscious of the fact that Nigerians are just rowing for her. So I would say, let's keep fingers crossed. Let's say a word of prayer for Toby. Let's look forward to our race tomorrow. Let's come out and support her in every way you can. It's either you join in live when I go live tomorrow so that we can all watch the race together or in your own, you know, um, comfort zone if you just want to find a, a way to watch or just keep a tab on our race. I believe that Toby is going to come out tomorrow to make a statement to the world. Toby to the world she's defending her title tomorrow so thank you everyone once again for finding our time you know out of that very precious one to visit my channel today i would say please like and subscribe and tomorrow we will be sharing our champion to defend our title successfully i have no doubt do i would have doubt that toby is well on course to defend her title and that's what we're going to see tomorrow i know the entire world is watching i know 200 million plus nigerians are watching and praying that toby would make us proud thank you everyone you're super super appreciated all right catch ya bye